Yo, it's Lex from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to use the One in the Chamber plugin, or OITC for short. With this plugin, you're able to create automated arenas and play the minigame One in the Chamber. To install the plugin, head over to the Plugins tab, then click Spigot Plugins on the top here and type in OITC. There should be this bow and arrow logo here. Make sure you get the right version. So yeah, uh, you can find more versions on the plugin page. Uh, we'll leave a link in the description. Uh, once you're done installing it, restart the server and yeah, you're done. Before we get into the game, let's uh, go through some configs. They're quite simple and there isn't a lot of stuff to set up. So find and open the config.yml document. In this config, you'll find everything that you might want to change. Things like the sword you can get, the amount of arrows you can get, how many coins you get per kill. Of course, you'll need to have an economy plugin for this to work. And there's a lot more that you can change. Since these are very self-explanatory, I'm not going to go over all of them. So if you go back and open messages.yml, you can change every message that's in this plugin and using color code too. You should leave the datas.yml as this is where things will be saved. Okay, so if you've made any changes to your configs, make sure to save them and restart the server. Oh, if you want to set up permissions, the nodes are found in the plugin page. So yeah, um, you can do that if you want. And you can also find the commands there too. Now that's done, let's get into the game. First thing we're going to do is create the global lobby. This is where all the signs are going to be so people can join your games. To do this, just type in slash OITC set global lobby. Next, to create the arena, type slash OITC create, then the arena name and then max number of players. You don't have to define the arena area or the border, so make sure that you create the map that has a border around it like this one. After you created the arena, we must set the arena lobby spawn and the actual spawn points at which the players are going to spawn in the game. To set the lobby spawn, type in slash OITC, set lobby, and then the arena name. We're going to set up our lobby just above the map here. And now we're going to go around the map and create a few spawn points for the players so that when the game begins, they'll spawn there randomly. To do this, type in slash OITC, add spawn and then the name of the arena. You can make however many spawn points you want, you can even make it higher than the amount of players that are in the game. And that's about it for the creation of the arena. Now let's go create the joining signs. To create a one in a chamber sign, just place it down and type in OITC on the top line and then the arena name on the second line. And that's about it, you're done. Once you right click it, you will join the queue and wait for the game to begin. And that's it. I hope this tutorial helped. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.